the whole metamorphosis of how this has come together has just honestly added so much more value to my clients by having him as an integral part of the team, um, looking at things from a different lens, being able to open the playbook really to different um, experts that you wouldn't get with frankly one um, you know one advisor who's coming to you for you know for whatever it might be um, having an advisor with that mentality of, of I'm going to be the kind of the go-to person to help you find solutions versus being just a one kind of shop you know what I mean um, having the different um, experts and not being the the ego center you know where you're where you want all the credit you know the the ERT models giving them the ability to to, to not necessarily be the expert, but be able to identify the experts. And that's honestly what I think has the most value. I mean, we've always gone through our client base in the past to kind of identified A, B, C, D, who can be, you know, who's good for this and kind of the regular meeting type thing um, has always been really good and being able to, you know, do that. But even more recently with the new CIQ process, We've now given that to all of our new clients, even for onboarding, to go through the full questionnaire and, and learn more about clients. So we're really using it as, an, as, a, as a mechanism for, for just finding out more about clients. It might, it might not even turn into work necessarily for ERT stuff, but it makes us look good. Um, it, even if it's something like finding, you know, I don't have a bookkeeper, I don't have an estate plan in place. Um, just having that lens of, 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 you know, cohesiveness and looking at everything um, has led to identifying new opportunities as well as other opportunities that you kind of knew were there, but they just come to the surface by having, you know, a means of, of questioning your clients. I mean, really, it's dramatically changed the way that we're doing business. Um, you know, we've had a traditional tax practice from the start. You know, I sign over 700 individual tax returns, a few hundred business tax returns. So, you know, volume style business. But I'm moving on past that, really putting clients more on the on the annual agreement, you know, maintenance type programs where every client's getting this proactivity. And it's really just uh, the whole ERT, CIQ, process has really given us the the roadmap to to proactivity to, to get those things a lot of it was earlier on was about you know ideas and doing this and that but really i think the process has gotten to the point now where it's so dialed in that it's you know clients are just so impressed it's 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 all about the process you don't have to sell anything now it's literally there's no sales you, you bring a client in you tell them what you're going to do you give them the questionnaire, you go through it, you prioritize things with them, and then you have your action items. It's like this is just the way it's meant to be. And they know it, they see the value in it, and you get rave reviews. The overwhelming census is that most CPAs are, are non are reactive, non, you know, they're not business type folks. They're there, they've become accountants because they like doing accounting work. They're not there to necessarily grow a business. So I think first is finding a CPA that has a different kind of business mindset. That's really where I, you know, I find myself different. Um, so really, I think you need to find a CPA that is aligned in the same values that you're looking for. Yes, that's what we need. We need proactivity. The old model doesn't work.